Good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to 144 from the Stars Tarot. All right, we're going to go ahead and pay our dear companion for his services because he works hard y'all it might not look like it but he really he works hard and he wants y'all to know he's working hard for you all right so what's the message for the collective today spirit i heard something about a dog and something about a car so i don't know if you're about to for some of you you might be about to get a new pet and for others of you, something about a vehicle. Maybe you are looking to get a vehicle. Something about that being relevant. We'll see if anything else comes out in regards to those. All right, we've got the Strength card coming out. I almost said reversed. And then we have the Moon. Okay. Uh, so someone behind the scenes is having to rely on their strength. They're having to be very strong for something that they have to do. It doesn't seem like this is something they necessarily are overly happy to do. But um, here you are in this sun energy. You'll be quite happy about this. We've got the sun and the moon out here with strength. So things that were presumed to be hidden are revealed. And someone is secretly stressing and trying to find some kind of strength to overcome their, like, um, emotional and mental instability towards the task at hand. Wow. All right. We do have Leo energy out here. We also have Cancer and Pisces. So one of those signs could be relevant. Does not have to be. We also have Virgo and Gemini. All right, we've got this Magician card coming out. What about this Magician card, Nine of Pentacles? Dang. Okay, so you guys have been working on manifesting yourself to be in the Nine of Pentacles energy. You want to be able to take care of yourself, have all your needs met. You want to be able to pay all your bills and be able to take care of anything you need going on. You want to be able to do this without stressing, without fearing, without having any kind of stress or worries. I mean, who wouldn't want to be abundant, right? Okay, so that's what you're doing. You're working on manifesting yourself on being financially independent, strong, capable, wealthy. Someone is in stress and fear and anxiety about you doing this. Hmm. I don't know. This is weird. Because I'm like, I'm getting the energy of like... Someone's upset because you're manifesting a, a destination for yourself that you're going to get regardless and then they have to give you something that they don't want to give you or they have to they have to cough something up or pay up is kind of the energy I'm getting because I'm still seeing this strength card and then it's coming out with this ten of wands. Someone is like really trying to figure out how the hell they can get out of this situation. Not really. I mean, maybe get out of this situation. I did just say that. I don't feel like they can. Maybe that's like what they really hope they can do. But ultimately, they understand that they can't get out of this situation. And they're stressed as hell figuring out how the hell they're going to do this. So what is it that they have to do? We've got this Empress coming out reverse. And then we've got the Two of Cups. Oh. Oh no. And then we have the Seven of Wands. And then the freaking Ace of Pentacles. And that's what this is about. Okay, so for some of you, this could be a, um, a couple. Taurus could be relevant. Um, I'm feeling that strong on both sides of the board here. It seems like... Um, Someone could prevent a catastrophe in their life. And the catastrophe in their life would have been being exposed and having to cough up some kind of funds or money. I feel like a, um, a mother and a daughter or a sister is involved in this. I'm feeling strongly two feminine energies. One is older, one is younger. I kind of feel like they're related. For some of you, this is your own mother and sister. 
they cut you out of some kind of will. They're finding out that they're not able to keep what they tried to uh, keep from you. They have to give it back. There's some kind of mediation that has to take place. This person, someone is really stressed about this mediation, about how this is going to go, about how to go about it, what to present you, how to, okay. I'm picking up again strong on this. Uh, some of you might be in a, expecting an encounter from a lawyer to discuss some kind of mediation with you. This may be a tower in the situation. This was something someone really tried to avoid having to do, but there's no... There's no other way out. They have to come to some kind of a mediation or settlement with you or take it to trial. Okay, so for some of you, that's why someone is stressed out is because they're finding out unless they can get you to come into some kind of mediation and settlement that they're going to be charged. And this is gonna if this gets brought to trial, they're gonna be convicted and have to face a lot of time they don't wanna do. So they're stressed out because they really don't wanna settle with you. They don't wanna settle with you because like that that's gonna hurt their ego, right? They don't wanna step down, they don't wanna admit fault, they're too prideful. They also don't wanna give you what's yours and they're pissed off that they have to. These people are kind of resentful towards you. Wow. I'm kind of getting the energy of like, if this is family, you were the like black sheep energy in the sense of like, you were the one that wasn't about the same bullshit that everyone else was in the family. Like other people were into marrying money or marrying into money or cars or like, I don't know, possessions or like quick come up schemes and you didn't do that. Also, something about how, like, these two women that I'm picking up on, these two feminine energies, I just heard Sagittarius, and I'm still picking up on uh, that Taurus energy earlier as well. Like a, a fire and an earth combination. Um, But they, like, gossip with each other, but you don't gossip. So they judge you because they feel like you feel like you're better than them. Because you live a more righteous path and they feel like you're snooty and snuck up. But it really, they're the ones that are all snooty and stuck up. And they just resent you because you did the inner work that they refuse to do. You make them look bad. Stop being divine. You make me look bad. <laughs> That's the energy. Okay, cool. So they resent you. They don't like you. They don't like that you get down with the low and dirty and gritty like they do. They don't like that you have morals, that you have like standards for yourself, that you seek higher wisdom, that you're spiritual, that you talk about shit that they don't like to talk about. You read about things they don't like to hear about. It's just like you're different, you know? You're clearly like a starseed, kind of born into some kind of like karmic bloodline that you're assigned to um, clear out. Okay, so yeah, someone is upset that they have to settle with you. They really don't want to have to do it to do this. They're talking with their lawyer. Um, for some of you, this individual is trying to figure out how they can fake settle with you. <laughs> how they can come up with some like, yeah, I came into a settlement with them. See, here's their signature and here's the witness's signature and here's what I did. And then, oh, and here's a picture of me giving them the money. Yay. And then it's like someone else that's clearly not you in the picture like I, I don't know like for some of you unfortunately this dumb dumb is still trying to play some kind of rat race and, and you know but the thing is though and that's what this strength card is is this like acknowledgement that they can't do that even though that's like their that's their natural instinct that's their first response whenever something gets thick or something gets difficult Let's accumulate more karma for ourselves. And now they're realizing that they can't take a cheap way out. They can't take an easy way out. They have to bite the bullet. They have to pay the piper. They have to, they have to come to some kind of subtle agreement. They have to put their head down. So that's what this strength is. is they know that they have to do it. Even though everything inside of them is screaming about having to do this. 
And for some of you, they're trying to figure out, you know, whether or not they want to be a bitch about it, whether or not they want to be fake nice to you about it. Like, ain't that messed up? Like, they're trying to figure out how they want to play their cards. Do they want to come in and swoop in and act like they're the victim? Do they want to swoop in and act like they're the hero? Do they want to swoop in and act like you're the bad guy and fuck you for them having to pay you back for the money they stole from you and you should feel bad and try to put you down and make you feel like... Or they're trying to figure out, hmm, do I just want to make them suffer? Like, do I just want to be petty and make this as long and drawn out and difficult and painful and stressful as possible because screw them, right? So this person's really trying to figure out, how do I want to do this? Do I want to, do I do the right thing, which I kind of have to do, or do I still dip into my shadow and still resist and find a way to try to do something besides what I clearly have to do? So someone's trying to figure out a way out of this, but their higher self knows there isn't a way out of this. So we'll see what they actually decide. The good thing is, though, the um, the Seven of Wands came out with your Ace of Pentacles. This also could be something that you're manifesting. Like, you might literally, because with the way that Magician came out with the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, it was like, damn, so not only are you working on accumulating your own success regardless, your own abundance, your own financial support and stability, but you're also manifesting some kind of BS that happened in the past with some people that don't have good interest for you for that to be made right as well. And someone's like, oh, what the fuck? I don't know. What is that? Like Cardi B or so? I just heard, oh, it's like, what? Oh my gosh. And I feel like that's someone's ancestor right now. Someone's ancestor and the uh, collective just it popped in just to like hype you up. Like, I don't know. I feel like they've been really like, oh, damn. Oh, shit. That, whoever's ancestor that is, they might be all fun and games and might hype you up and joke with you, but they don't fucking play. Damn, the imagery they just showed me was like rough. Um, so they don't play with you and they gonna get theirs back. They gonna get their lick back. That's what they want you to know. Just, just know, baby. They gonna get their lick back. <laughs> and I heard, uh, Rubik's Cube. So I don't know. Maybe that's like a confirmation for someone. Maybe this ancestor used to call you Rubik's Cube when you was a kid. You know what I mean? Rubik's Cube, something like that. I'm kind of picking up on that kind of energy. This person could have been a water sign. Um, but yeah, anyway, so this individual has for... All right, so let me... Because that's very specific. So let me bring it to the universal kind of energy that I'm feeling for the collective right now. Many of you have ancestors that have watched you go through this cycle. Have and they're cheering you. Like I feel like they're so happy with you. I feel like they're like your ancestors on the other side be celebrating the hell out of you because you're doing big moves and power plays. Like they do a lot for you on the other side. Hell yeah, they kicking ass, taking names. Like I mean, some of the imagery I saw was pretty dark. I mean, some of them are I don't want to use that word, but like I mean, kind of like savage. I mean, really, like they they really don't play with their love, their blood, you know. But that's cool. So, like, it's like they're just so proud because, like, they did everything they could, obviously, on the spirit side. But you really pulled through on the 3D, on the Earth realm. Like, you really did the most. You really did the work. And they're just so happy for you. Like, and for some of you, like, you actually kind of, because I'm kind of getting, like, this, like, gossiping, like, little tea party in the spirit realm. I was like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And they're, like, placing bets. Man, I bet you my collective right there, my chosen black sheep right there, by the time they 35, they gonna have, and they like, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, bet. I bet you mine by the time they 25 and then they over there like hyping each other up. Oh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. And then here you are and you surpassing all the bets. So I don't know, like maybe you, you might have like an ancestor when you cross over to the other side that might have like a little bit of playful beef with you because they lost the bet to your ass because they didn't think you was going to go as far as you did and you surpassed them and they had to eat some kind of crow in the spirit realm. I don't know, that was that was specific, but I'm kind of feeling on those kind of vibes. Like, you got a lot of support, a lot of love that rocks with you, and they've been doing the most on the other side. Believe me, like, some of this shit, it's personal. It's personal, and, like, I mean, I'm just, hey, look, I'm not here to judge, but, like, it might be a little petty, some of the things. But, like, I feel like it's justified, you know? But, uh, yeah, just, just know they fucking with them. They fucking with them hard on the other side. So you definitely got your ancestors working things out for you. And they in rooms, 
that people don't realize they in and they hear and all the shit people be saying. So just know you loved, you covered. All right, what else would you like the collective to know? For some of you, you have actually recently made, um, like this manifestation you've been doing, you have successfully completed, I heard completed a mission, and that allowed you to make some kind of quantum leap. Okay, so like, I'm kind of getting like, oh, this is cool, this is cool. So like, there was something that was kind of already written in your Akash to like, let's say by the age of like 25 or 35, you were destined to have this house. But you are getting a 10 years sooner. Something specific about 8 to 10 years sooner than you were originally supposed to. That's also somewhat tied into that like little bit of a bet some of your ancestors had. on the And the light just flickered when I said that. A little bit of a bet some of your ancestors said about what you was going to be able to do or not do. And you overpassed like everything everyone said. So whatever, you're going to hear about that when you cross over too. But it's... um. It's nice. I like this. We've got the King of Swords with the Queen of Cups. There could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and a Gemini, uh, Libra, Aquarius that could be relevant. We've got this Death card coming out reverse and then this Ten of Pentacles. This is a devastation. This could be specifically this energy right here could be a message between a water sign and an air sign. I'm kind of getting like um, this could be like for some of you this is like um, an X. And for others of you, this is like a, a mother, daughter, father, son, father, daughter, mother, like a, a child and a parent kind of dynamic. There is some kind of like harsh, painful truth or ending that is happening between the two. I'm almost getting like if this is a parental figure, for those of you, this is a parental figure and you're the child. And this individual has... um. Maybe you had a rough childhood and then later on in your adult years, they still did things to betray you. This individual is, I don't know, there's there's something working on their consciousness. And like, I'm not saying necessarily that they are going to make a change in their heart or everything, but best believe that they, they definitely um, look back and kind of like, they, it's certain things that they've done have haunted them. And they would never admit it. I kind of feel like this is the kind of person that would always tell anyone that would listen that they're the good parent and that you, the child, were the problem. But this person low-key has moments deep down where they realize they're the problem. It's depressing as hell for them. And the reason why they, they can't admit it is because like, I, I don't think they could live with themselves if they actually face the fact of what kind of a parent they really were to you. Um, the reason why this is coming up, I feel like, is because there's some kind of crushing defeat that this parental figure is experiencing in regards to some kind of betrayal they did to you. It looks like it has to do with family, assets, money, information, power, wealth, right? Um, it's coming out reversed. So it seems like after them trying to betray you and steal something from you and then realizing like something's happening with this, it kind of seems like they have either lost it or they're being exposed or they're caught or whatever. It's also like putting everything else they've done in the past leading up to this big betrayal into a different kind of light and perspective for them. Like they're part of them really is kind of realizing that they're a problem. And you might get some, like, for some of you, unfortunately, you might get some, like, sappy, emotional bullshit where, like, I'm so sorry, I wish I could have been better for you. And, like, honestly, whoever the fuck that was for, and, like, I feel triggered when I heard that, I felt that energy, I feel like you're not going to want to hear nothing about it. Just shut up and pay me, bitch. Like, that's what I heard. Like, damn, like, all right. Um, that was harsh. That was harsh. So yeah, there's, for some of you, there's definitely, if you've got a bad relationship with a parental figure and they have done things to betray you as a child and as an adult, and uh, you know some of that betrayal might have to do with like inheritance or money or something like that, um, yeah, she's, she's definitely going through some kind of emotional inner turmoil in retrospect in regards to... Um, some realizations that she is in denial of, but still on some level of consciousness going through. What other messages do you have for the collective?
We have the Queen of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. We've got the King of Cups. For some of you, um, I'm picking up on the energy of you are like a, um, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. You've got them highly aspected in your main three. You are dealing with a, um, an X. This specifically is an X. I'm picking up very strong on Pisces. Um, this individual is very upset that they, um, their lawyer, I'm guessing because like they're, they're really upset and I'm picking up on this lawyer energy and I'm seeing this money out here and I'm trying to figure out like why the, f like, cause I, I don't necessarily, for some of you, it is divorce. It's something and you would know, you would know cause you're currently dealing with that. They're upset that they're not getting some kind of outcome that they were hoping to get. Um, and they're upset that, um, something's going to cost them or they are losing something they were hoping to get. So I'm like, I don't know if there's like a division of assets or something going on there. Um, but for others of you, this is like, you are dealing with, I don't know, this is almost like an ex boss. Are you suing an employer? Yeah. Yeah. For some of you, there's like a, an ex-employer or an ex-boss or maybe even like a, a landlord because I'm, I'm feeling like that home energy too. You're suing them. They're upset. They just heard information from their lawyer and they're not too happy about this. So I guess that's good news for you. You're going to have some kind of success in that if you are currently dealing with that. What do you want the collective to focus on? Wow. Okay. Putting emotions to rest. And going after what you want. Okay. So I, I still a bit of like a, a surrender and release. And put some things to rest. Cut some ties and continue to go forward. Now, there are some major cycles that are ending. Um. I am picking up strongly that I feel like because a lot of you have brought yourself into a higher alignment, you have completed some kind of mission, some kind of task. Many of you have actually straight up quantum leaped like 10 years in advance. Um, and for some of you, that's going to going to or has manifested in like a unrealistic growth in like a business or something. It's like you... You started something and then within a few months or a year, you were where you thought would take you eight years or 10 years to get. Um, and it was like unnatural, like you had some big Jupiter blessing or something like that in your life. That was because you took the act. So you were manifesting your desired destination reality. Then you took the actions for it in the 3D. But because you were already manifesting an imperfect alignment, you didn't have to go through the norm. Like it, it was faster. You were able to accomplish it a lot quicker. So things are being brought into balance in your life around you. And for some of you, this has to do with like some like legal issues. For some of you, this has to do with betrayals in the past. For others of you, this has to do with um, cutting ties and getting justice or retribution from like an ex-landlord or an ex or an ex-boss. Or for some of you, this is even like some emotional upheaval between um, like you and family members or something because some things are coming into perspective and there's also some painful endings that they're about to approach and it, it has to do with karma and having to pay the piper for what they have done to you. Do you have any final messages for the collective? Three of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. And that Queen of Pentacles has given me that, um, that mother-daughter energy I was picking up on earlier. So um, if that was something that resonated with you, this, this person's hurt by the outcome of this cycle. Wow. Oh, this is sad. For some of you... Um, 
there is a water feminine that may come towards you and try to say that, the, oh, they're so happy for you and congratulations or happy for your success. Um, you know, congratulations, and it's all full of shit, they're lying, they're not happy for you, they're pissed as hell, because they've been working behind the scenes trying to sabotage you and stop you, and they couldn't, and now they're facing some kind of justice, so they're gonna be like, oh, man, I don't like that, for some of you, this is like a, um, for some of you specific, if you are a Taurus, a Gemini, um, I'm, I'm picking like a Sagittarius. It's a, it's like a Libra Sagittarius. I don't know a, a Libertarius, <laughs> some kind of like fiery air sign or something. I can't quite pinpoint, but um, and you have a a karmic mother that you are dealing with. Uh, uh this individual may have knows, and you know that this individual may have to mediate with you or come to some kind of settlement. They may come towards you like on some BS, like um trying to congratulate you and celebrate with you and act like they're so happy for you. They're so proud of you. They knew you could do it. Really, they've been working behind the scenes hoping you would never make it. And then try to, like, butter you up, soften you up, and then try to, like, work their way into, like, yeah, so I've got this thing. I don't know how they're... Uh, I don't even feel like this person knows how they're going to do it. And that's why I can't even really fully pull on the timeline because they're unsure. They're still on the fence because, again, at the beginning of the reading, we were picking up on the energy of someone struggling with how they're going to handle the circumstance because their higher self is telling them there, there, there's no way out of doing what they're being forced to do which is make something right and settle and admit wrong or fault or whatever but they really want to try to find some kind of karmic nasty shadow way to weasel their way out of the circumstance but they can't and so I'm still picking up on these like half thought ideas in the cloud in the air around them but none of them are completed and i feel like this person ultimately just feels completely defeated and devastated because this is someone that fancies themselves as a bit of a mastermind they really feel like they can confidently and comfortable live the way they've been living and get away with it and if it weren't for you meddling divine beings they would have got away with it too but divine judgment is here and they don't know what to do but it is what it is. So you do you and the God will handle the rest, right? All right. I'm going to go ahead and leave this reading here. If you like the way that I read, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate every single one of you and I will see you on the next collective message.